Good evening, YouTube, and welcome to part 13 of Jonathan's questions about Disney's dinosaur. Anyway, let's get back to what we were looking at. We left off right here. Bailey looking at the dark squat, you know, dark clouds. And Earl. I think of it as URL on the computer. Earl. <laughs> If you guys get what I mean by that. A computer joke, I guess. Isn't it cold in there? Doesn't that frame right there look similar to that animation test from the DVD features? You know, when they say the, you know, the walking animation and all that, or something. Thomas Schmucker, the Disney animation president or something. At least I think so. I can't remember his name right, but that looks like that frame looked like that animated dinosaur walking. If you guys know what I mean. Sheesh. I thought it was colder. Yeah, okay. May I remind you that he's one of them? Well, looks like he's one of us now. Who booked this trip anyway? You'll be at the nesting ground soon enough. Well, when I get there, I'm gonna get crawling a piece of my mind. Well then, well then, who did book the trip? Was it the two leaders, Bruton and Crone, or Nira? I don't think Nira did it. Seriously? Wait, how? Wait a minute. How would it? How would the? How would a plant from your island just be all of a sudden at this one cave? Why is he doing this? Pushing them on with false hope. It's hope that's gotten us this far. What did you guys set the plants in the cave or something, or did they grow in the cave? We clearly didn't see the lemurs carry anything with them along the trip they the long journey they had throughout the movie. We never saw any plants on them. Not even on Aldar's back or anywhere. It was just the characters themselves, you know, doing their roles and all that. You know, just you know, throughout the movie they were just doing what they were doing. We never saw any plants being carried until all of a sudden she brings up the plants grew in their island. What, did they grow in the cave? I'm not sure. If you guys have a theory or know about this, let me know in the comments. Because I'm not sure. That's cool. That, doesn't that remind you of the Lion King a little bit? Well, the part when Simba notices how the ground shakes a little bit and the rocks start to, you know, paddle on the ground a little bit. It's kind of like that almost, I think.
That's pretty intense. The eyeball, too. You know what I thought Bruton would have done? I thought he would have just ran out already because all the rocks were going to come down anyway, weren't they? So I say he could have just ran out quicker. I know he did. And I'm thinking, how how would the other Carnotaur survive that? What is he, a lucky one or something? Is he lucky to survive all the rocks tumbling down on him? Him or her, I don't know for sure what gender it is. One thing for sure, it survived. Yikes. Oh, that's an asshole move. Oh, sure, you couldn't help out one innocent dinosaur or child. 